Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in 25s. In this tutorial we will learn how to count in 25s up to 1000. We're going to begin with two examples and then we're going to work through a pattern and then go through the number sequence. So let's start with our first example. Suppose we have this number. We've got 350. The question is what number comes after 350 if we are counting in 25s? Well, what we do is we simply add 25 to the number. Start with the units. 0 plus 5 is 5. The tens, 5 plus 2 is 7. And lastly, the hundreds. 3 plus 0 is 3. The answer is 375. Let's work through one more example. This time we've got number 625. The question is the same. What number comes after 625 if we are counting in 25s? Well, what we do is we simply add 25. Start with the units. It's all very simple, hence the reason why I'm going through it quite quickly. Double five is ten. Then the tens, double two, two plus two, and don't forget the one is five. And lastly, the hundreds. The answer is six. Six hundred and fifty. Now, in the previous tutorial, we learned the sequence of numbers when we are counting in 25s. So we're going to go through some of those now. On the left hand side, we've got 325. So we're starting with 325. What number comes after this? 350. After 350 is 375. Now you'll notice I'm not even calculating this because this is something which is very very simple and once you've learned how to do this by adding 25 the next step is to understand the sequence. Now have a look at the numbers on the left in red. In red first we got 325 then 350 then 375 and then 400. The last two digits and I'm just going to underline them we got 25, 50, 75, and 0. When you're counting in 25s from 0, the number can only the numbers can only end in these two: 25, 50, 75, or 0. They cannot be anything else. I'm just going to do the 400s. We've got 425. Notice it ends in 25. Then we've got 400 and 50. It ends in 5, 0. 475. Ends in 7, 5. And lastly, 500. Ends in 0. So it's all very simple, very straightforward. Do not be scared of working with large numbers. Okay, let's work through a number sequence. We've got 450, blank, blank and then we've got 525 and another blank. Now what number do you think appears in the first one? So we've got we've got 450 the next number is if it's a 50 the next number has to be a 75 because we've got 400s it remains 475. Now how about the number after that? We'll do this in pink. We've got 475. Well, we know this. It's going to be 500. It has it has to end in end in zero. And because we've got four here, the four turns into five. And lastly, we've got 525. Now, what does that become? Have a look over here. We've got 25 becomes 50. The 4 remains the same. So in this example, the 5 remains the same and the 25 
becomes 50. So once you've learned the sequence of adding 25s, everything else is very simple. And you can do you can count up to in 25s up to 1000 very very easily.